Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the New Holland 70 series. But before that, this video is brought to you by Lawrence Anderson and Will Hausman. Thank you for being farm barons. So the New Holland 70 series can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this mod is available for all platforms. So what makes this mod noteworthy? Well, one, it is from the production year of 1993 to 2002. So it is one of those kind of modern classics, if you will, a time period for which a lot of players are looking for tractors and other implements from. So this is gonna fit that bill. And two, this tractor has a unique option and that is that you can configure it such that the front weight or three-point attachment turns with the steering wheels and this can be rather convenient if you have a front attachment connected to that front three-point hitch so let's take a look at these things in the shop so we're going to go to vehicles and we can find this under either large tractors or if we go more conveniently to the mods and DLC section, we're gonna be able to find the new Holland 70 series. And we have two different variants. We have the 70 series in a super steer, and that is the one where the front is going to move with the steering axles for $110,200. And then we have the new Holland 70 series where the front three point and weights are gonna be fixed to the frame and therefore they're not going to turn left or right with the steering axle. And it is $90,200. Now the configuration options are identical with the exception of one optional item between these two and that is gonna be the guidance steering mod. The mod description does say that the guidance steering is supported and I'm gonna show you on the super steer how it is supported with this particular mod. So here we are with the super steer. And again, every configuration is going to be the same between this one and the non super steer version, except for the GPS change. The non super steer version doesn't have any visual changes when you enable GPS. So we have Trelleberg and then we have our standard tires. We have wide tires. We have rear twin tires, twins all around, narrow tires, narrow rear twins and narrow twins all around. Then we move into Trelleberg, or sorry, Michelin, and we have standard, wide, rear twins, twins all around. And then we have pretty much the same tire options available for our Midas, our Continental, and our BKT and Vertistine tires, where we have standard, wide, rear twins, twins all around. So we don't really need to iterate through every single iteration of every single tire brand. As far as tractor brands go, we have the choice of New Holland or Fiat Agri or New Holland and Fiat Agri. Then we have Attachers Standard, which is a front weight hanger with no front weights. We have 1600 kilograms of front weights, or we could go with a three point hitch attachment. We have engine setup, we have the New Holland 8670, which is the 170 horsepower, 170 Genesis turbo. We have the 8770, which is the 190 horsepower Genesis turbo. Then we have the 8870 in the 210 horsepower Genesis turbo. Or we go up to 8970 in the 240 horsepower, 240 Genesis turbo tractor. Our engine, as far as GPS goes, if we take a look here at GPS and we add it, Again, to the super steer variant, we're going to get a console in the cab, and we also get a GPS receiver there on the roof. But well, we toggle that off, you'll notice they go away, turn it back on, there it is. That is the only difference in configuration options between the super steer and the non super steer variant. Then we come down here to main color, we have New Holland Blue, we have Fiat Agri Orange or Red or Brown, whatever you want to call it. We have another New Holland Blue, another Fiat Agri, and we have black. We have a white. Look, that's the Stormtrooper color. Oh, then we go to a metallic blue, and then we have a metallic red. Let's go back to Stormtrooper colors. 
There we go. Stormtrooper New Holland tractor. Under design color is going to be the exhaust cover right here. We have a choice of black, chrome, Fiat Agri, or New Holland blue. Then under rim color, we have white, gray. Another flavor of gray, kind of more of a steel color. Black or a deep black. And then we have chrome. And we do have a choice of adding license plates. We get it right here in the center of the front grill and then the rear top of the cab. So, th <laughs> so those are all of the configuration options that we have available on both the Super Steer and the regular 70 series. Let's go ahead and jump on into this thing and just give it a listen. And you can see when I turn the front, how the Super Steer, the front is also rotating with tires so we have an animated foot throttle brake and shifter we do have lights on our kind of our dash we also have an indicator as far as which lights are on and we do have turn signal not only turn signal indicator lights but also our turn signal handle let's go ahead and take a look there we have our first stage lights second stage lights and then third stage lights we do have a working beacon of course and we have our flashers front and rear and then we have our left and right Now what I wanted to show you is this is the super steer with a front weight pack. You see that turning left and right. But more specifically, we have the GPS console here on this particular variant. So there is the GPS console and of course the GPS receiver on the top. And then I wanted to show you here with a front mower, kind of the the idea around having the ability for your front attachment to steer with your tires. So you can see as we are turning, the mower is moving with us. And in theory, this is going to help us kind of minimize our, the missing prop that you may happen to have when you are making a turn while mowing or anything else that you may have the front three-point attachment on. As you turn, it is going to move left and right. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the new Holland 70 series? Again, this mod can be found over at the farmingsimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu, and it is available for all platforms. And until next time, happy farming.